what is going on everybody out in the garage saturday um next day after doing the wire harness uh video um just kind of out here cleaning up uh just from all the sanding a lot of dust and stuff in the garage um we had to replace our washing machine today uh because it broke so to get down the stairs i had to move half the garage just to get the washing machine out of the basement because this actually goes into my basement here right because my house there used to be an apartment downstairs before um so what i did was i kind of rearranged some stuff to make more room over here so i put my toolbox over on this side moved the table down a smidge which actually makes it a little bit more open um it is a little snug here because obviously the car is over a bunch so I can work on this side a little bit. Um, but that'll change in the next week or so as um, I'm gonna abort on this side and we're gonna get the rear end and everything back in. I gotta clean it up, get the rear end back in so we can get the car down and flip it around so we can start working on the other side. Just getting the little details of that done as well. <sighs> sorry and uh yeah um i'm happy to be back um we're gonna try to get some good stuff out uh next weekend i'm hopefully gonna start um pulling the red cobra 97 cobra apart we got to pull the air right out of that and a couple other things to put in the white 96 cobra and then transfer the suspension from the 96 Cobra over to the 97. Sounds a little bit complicated, but it's not. You know what I mean? Um, Cause that car will be going back to a coil suspension. Um, as that car, I'm pretty sure Brian has a plan for, um, which we'll update you later. So the, Red 97 will be becoming more like, I wouldn't say stock, but more no air ride, um, more traditional, I guess. And then the white 96 is going to be the beast. Um, I'm pretty sure he kind of named it Cruella, which is going to be like a black and white theme. Um, Brian's into, you know, all that character stuff um you know he's into like halloween and christmas he's like he's that kind of guy star wars and things like that so he thought about stormtrooper too but i think there's somebody out there that already has that um but you know it's going to be a black and white theme and eventually that car is going to make like 700 horsepower with a termi swap um so um we're going to do all the swapping and of the suspension and the k-member probably next weekend because it's a long weekend up here it's actually may 2-4 weekend up here in canada so we're probably gonna try to do that um brian's gonna try to get a day he's a real estate agent so he's pretty busy but i told him you know today he was helping me with some stuff i said you know if you can allot a day out of one of those three days to kind of come and bring the red car up so we can swap it and then he can drive the red car home because essentially he's going to drive that red car until the white car is done and then uh maybe his wife will drive that car the red car or whatever um like i said there are some plans for that car um they're not 100 percent set in stone so once we figure out what's happening with that one or brian decides um we'll let you know but the white one's going to be badass and uh yeah it's pretty good we got a couple other projects uh in the works as well um we got we might be picking up another project aside from like the um the secan notch with the twin turbo coyote swap um we might have an 86 um gt that a guy wants us to uh kind of build which i might take the drivetrain from depending on how it is and then uh, we have another car um, that was offered to us and uh, we made an offer on it 
and uh, we're just waiting to hear back. The owner is pondering on it, but that's a pretty nice car as well. Uh, so hopefully we know what's happening with that this week. Um, I did not put the offer in because I don't have the money, but um, my friend did. And so that'll be coming. So lots happening, guys. Um, I want to try to bring you as much cool stuff as possible. It's hard to keep you, you know, you want it to be fresh. As fun as working on the T-top car is, you know, I kind of feel that it's repetitive. So I don't want to be like every week, every week, kind of just banging at the T-top car. Um, I know you guys keep coming back, which I super appreciate it, but you guys want to see some fresh stuff too. Um, so like I said, there's a bunch of, bunch of shit happening. I, there's so much going on. I don't even have time to deal with it all, to be honest with you. So, um, especially with my surgery and things like that, that like, you know what I mean? So I was off for a week and things like that. So, uh, next weekend, like I said, we'll be up at the shop. Um, Brian's going to drop the white car off and, uh, we're going to get started on that car. Um, We're still waiting on a few things for the Secan notch. So that's why we're not exactly starting on that car right away. The frame rails are done on it. They've been fixed. Um, we pretty much have everything we need. Um, and we still need Mike to get the 13 out of the shop because we're, we're limited for space. You know what I mean? So we're trying to do stuff appropriately. Um, the 96 Cobra, it should be a quick in and out kind of job so that's why we're kind of just putting it in there where the the secan notch is more of a, a longer schedule to um to build because not only are we putting um you know the coyote in it you know it's getting a 6r80 um you know and it's getting a twin turbo kit which is going to be have to be uh it's going to have to be fabricated so um you know that stuff's going to take a little bit longer to make sure how everything's going to flow and things like that so we're kind of getting brian's car in before mike's car but mike's car is not a huge rush uh you know what i mean um it's you know he's got a baby coming soon and things like that so we have time with that car and we want to make it right so we want to make sure that we order all the proper things and you know just we want to do things the best we can and like i said i've never put a 6r80 in a fox body um i know they fit um there's some questions about drive shafts and things like that so there's stuff we're going to learn as we go and i want to bring that guys to you um to you guys um so if you guys ever decide to do a coyote with a 6r80 automatic transmission um you know you can you know watch my video and see oh shit, this is how it's done. You know what I mean? So um, that's kind of what's happening right now. Um, yeah, I rambled on a bit. I've been drinking, so I've been rambling. But what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to be, um, sorry, we're going to be cutting the stock control arms out. Um, the bolts are actually rusted in. It's a common issue with these cars. And we're actually going to be putting in these bad boys right here. So they got poly bushings. They're actually stock. Uh, they've been capped off, you know, stiffened up a bit, but they got the stock. Uh, it's the stock arms with poly bushings. This has been capped. Somebody's actually took the time to kind of seal everything off. And then I'm not sure where the other ones are but the uppers ah, so tired lots happening i've been a bit so busy you know dealing with my eyes and just trying to get stuff done and things like that but so the uppers you know how they're short um they've actually been plated so they're actually kind of like boxed so but yeah we're gonna put these in as they're a bit nicer than the factory old bushings right um and one thing that um, I'm about these days is comfort, like being comfortable, 
You know what I mean? Like, when I was 20, 21, man, I'd slap these cars together. I couldn't care. A fucking door could be popping open going down the road. I didn't give a shit. Just as long as I was cruising, I was happy. Now, I'm about the comfort and the ride. I don't like rattles. I don't like vibrations. I want it to be smooth. So, we want to be low, but we want to be comfortable. You know? Which, back in the day, there was, like, no in-between. But we're going to make it happen. You know? So... Stay tuned, guys.